my file so it knows which file we basically want to uh, create into a stream. So actually, I'm going to put a space down there. So now what we need to do is Q string. Just go ahead and name this line equals text stream dot read all and okay looks good so what this line does is it reads the entire stream which is basically our entire file and it stores it in a variable called a line right there so after this we'll just go ahead and write my file close and why do we need to do this because you need to close all files when you're done working with them uh, pretty much just housekeeping for C++ so pretty much this is all of our very basic um, like our very basic stuff that we have to do with the file so now all that's taken care of and stored in variables we actually need to display it on the screen so in order to display it on the screen remember that UI object that we talked about earlier represents the entire user interface and this was actually set up for us by Q so what we need to do is we're working with the user interface what part of the user interface well we want to work with the text edit widget now what do we want to do to the text edit widget we want to go ahead and set plain text and what this basically does is um, first of all it takes a string which is line and remember this string right here is pretty much our entire file because we read the entire file in so what this line basically does is takes our entire file and it displays it in plain text in that text edit area which is this area right here so now let me get back to where I was working with and after this we need to do a couple more things so even though we have that text displayed now the point of finding something is so you know the user can see where it is in the text file so in order to let the user know where the word is that they're looking for we're just going to move the cursor over the word and it's going to highlight the word so let's go ahead and store the cursor in variable variable and it's called q text cursor right like that and I'll just name this uh, text cursor I guess text cursor set this equal to what part of the user interface UI text edit and it's called text cursor now this text cursor function is a built-in function it's already in queue so we don't have to code this ourselves basically it returns the uh, cursor of your mouse and it uh, stores it in the variable text cursor like we defined right there so now the only thing else I want to do is I want to take that cursor and I want to move it into position because we're going to need it in position later on so go ahead text and I'm gonna sneeze in about two seconds move position and Q text start oh, gonna make me type the whole thing okay start and then Q move anchor and one so I know you, this is running off the screen but let me go ahead and shift this down and I'll explain to you guys what it means alright so basically what we're doing right here is we're taking the text cursor and moving it one position uh, these ver I mean excuse me these parameters right here don't really worry about them for now they're just you know parameters that you need because cute says you need them but that's it now I can go ahead and run that off the screen so now actually our entire git uh, text file function is complete so one more time before I let you guys go what this does is it basically says what file do we want to work with go ahead and open that file so we can use it what do we want to do with it well we actually want to convert it to a stream so we can store everything in a Q string variable called line so now pretty much our entire text is stored in this variable called line so we can go ahead and close the file now once it's closed we can go ahead and display that text on the screen in the text edit area and what this does right here is it pretty much just moves our cursor into place so then whenever the user searches for their next term they can go ahead and you know the cursor moves and they can see where the words are that they're looking for